Good day students, I'm on this group. We're going to be going over an example on how to um, on how to compute the scalar components of two vectors and the scalar component of one vector in the direction of another and uh, the projection of a vector onto another vector. Okay, so we're just going to be focusing on the mechanics um, applying the procedures to the formulas. If you want to know the reverse derivation of these formulas that I'm using. You can feel free to uh, look at my previous videos, okay? So let's write down the instruction for the question. Uh, so for number one, we're going to for, uh, for for vector A equals uh, 1, 3, and vector B equals um, 2, 1, find the components, let's call the scalar component, the scalar component of A along B as the first part and the projection uh, uh, vector, the vector projection of a of vector a um, onto b, okay? Vector projection of vector a uh, onto b. All right, we're going to do this. This is a two-part process. Uh, we're going to first of all focus on finding the scalar component of a along b, okay? So part a of the scalar scalar um, component. All right, we'll start by writing the formula. Uh, for scalar component, uh, basically it's the component of A, the component of A along B that uh, is given by uh, A dotted with B divided by the magnitude of vector B. Okay, so this is uh, how you compute the component, the scalar component of A along B. All right or in the direction of vector of vector b. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, input our uh, vector values. So vector a is 1 comma 3. So that will be dotted with vector b, which is 2 comma 1. And then divided by the magnitude of uh, vector b, 2 comma 1. Okay? All right, so using the... Pro, uh, procedure for finding dot products, you just multiply the respective coordinates and then you add the products, okay? So you're going to have one, uh, 1 multiplied by 2 plus 3 multiplied by 1, All right? That's how you compute the dot product of two vectors uh, in 2D space. And then to compute the uh, magnitude of a vector, all you do is you find the square root of the sum of the squares, okay? So the square root of the sum of the squares of the independent, the individual uh, vector components. So the i direction is two square plus in the j direction one square. All right. So that's how you compute the magnitude of the vector. All right. So uh, the, the dot product in the numerator is basically going to be two plus three, and then in the denominator we're going to have the square root of two square, which is four plus one. And that becomes 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 over the square root of 5, okay? So let's just rationalize the denominator to make our answer look nice. So times the numerator and the denominator by root 5. So that's going to give us uh, 5 root 5 over 5, which reduces to just uh, the square root of 5, okay? So the scalar component... The scalar component um, of vector A in the direction or along B, along vector B, is uh, root 5. Okay? So that's the answer of the first part of the question. Now that we have the uh, scalar component of A in the direction of B, we're going to find do the B part, which is a, a projection. Um, the vector projection of A along B, okay? 
And if you think about it, all we're just doing is basically multiplying, uh, scaling the, giving the component a direction by multiplying this component by the unit vector vector b. But I'm not going to go into that right now. I'm just going to use the formula directly. Um, and then if you think about it, the whole thing basically makes sense. This is the scalar component. All that that is needed to create the projection is the vector component that's found by using the unit vector. Okay. So for the projection, uh, vector projection, get to here. So for the vector projection, the formula that we're going to use uh, is the projection. We're projecting vector um, A onto vector B. Okay, that's what we're doing. So the formula is basically um, vector A dotted with vector B divided by the magnitude of vector B squared and then the whole thing multiplied by vector B. Okay? Alright, now um, it's, the cool thing about this procedure is there are some answers that we can extract from the, from the A part. Okay? So for example, a dot, the dot product of A and B we already found is up here. The dot product of A and B is the numerator, which was 2 plus 3, which was 5, right? So basically, we can just insert it here. 5 over, what is the magnitude of B? Uh, the magnitude of B is the denominator here. Remember, we already did the magnitude of B down here. Before I rationalize, this is the magnitude of B. This piece right here uh, is the magnitude of B, vector B, right? And then the, the numerator is basically the dot product of vector A and B, okay? So I'm just extracting, I'm being lazy, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm just extracting my answers from vector A, from part A of the uh, question, and just putting them in here, okay? I don't need to do, do the same procedure again. It's a total waste of time, all right? So... Uh, vector magnitude of vector b is root 5, but I'm squaring it, so it's root 5 squared. Okay? And that will be the result will be multiplied by by vector b. Okay? And vector b uh, is 2, comma 1. Alright? Okay, let's go ahead and, and simplify this. So to simplify this, we're going to have uh, 5 over the square root of 5 square which is 5 and then we'll just multiply that by 2 comma 1 so 5 over 5 is just 1 and just multiply by 2 comma 1 and your final answer is just 2 1 okay so this basically is the vector projection of let's write right down the whole thing the vector projection of um, of A onto B is basically uh, two comma one. Okay, so so there you have it. That's what's our answer. All right. So thanks so much for taking the time to uh, watch this video. You can uh, subscribe to my video just by clicking up here so you can get cool clips to videos such as these. Um, more videos can follow on my Thanks again and have a wonderful day.